Hello, I'm the Dark Master, and welcome back to my LEGO Reviews. This time I'll be reviewing set number 70684, Spinjitsu Slam, Kai FS versus Samurai! It comes with two minifigures and 164 pieces. This time, let's actually start with the packaging. The reason I've decided to start with the packaging is because it is has to be one of the most misleading packaging I've seen in a Lego product for quite a while. Firstly, in the corner, the armor is clearly colored gunmetal gray, or at least a completely different color than the average armor. Then, in the photos, not only is the armor back to the normal color, but now the skin is noticeably even more pale with black markings, even more than the figure in the corner would suggest. Honestly, I think the set was originally meant to have grim facts in it, or at least a completely new variant, but I mean, they ch I guess they had to change it in the last minute. The name being just SAMURAI! does kind of give up a slapdash change. I mean, why not just call it the Blizzard Samurai? Let's start with the set itself now. The Samurai is completely identical to the other Blizzard Samurai, just with the head reversed. What a waste of an opportunity. It doesn't even come with a weapon for Pete's sake, though there are weapon pieces if you should want them. Which are actually pretty cool. They're these clear, nexo nice sword piece. The other minifigure is far more interesting, in my opinion. Kai FS, which is short for Forbidden Spinjutsu. I'm not supposed to tell you it because it's forbidden. Has a distinct appearance compared to the one found in the mainline set. Using more gold. The legs are... Unfortunately, the same, which, you know, get a cut, cut cost somewhere. The arms are gold. The torso printing is new with relatively flat-looking flames. They do look better than the Spinjitsu and the Sons of Garmadon wave. The new face print, which is really amazing to see for Kai for once. The golden eyes with the flame really works well, in my opinion. The hood piece is now dual molded with gold and orange, which makes the flame look way more bright compared to the original red head. Overall, this figure is alright. The torso is a bit flat, as is the back printing, but otherwise it's pretty fine. The other face is kind of weak, because it's the same face as all the other Kai's, but that is understandable. Now let's go over the builds. Firstly, both sides have this interesting launcher. Now, it uses these specialized pieces. I know people will take issue with that, but I'm sure Marcus might make them work in some way. I mean, they make Galadar work. They are identical, except for colors. Kai's launcher uses red, trans-orange, and black. The Samurai is uses maroon, gray, and trans-blue. Kind of felt it was a missed opportunity to do more of that really cool cyan color. Get it? Cool? Yeah, but it's fine. The spinners are of the new mold, one being trans orange and gold. Though unlike the previous one, it didn't have these really nice sparkles in it, so it is kind of weaker to my opinion. The other is trans blue and black, which is kind of a shame. It really should have been... Maroon. There isn't much customization, and there isn't a tra trans reverse plate, meaning to spin this and the other objects, you pretty much require this horrible piece. It's specialized, and even more so than the Spinjitsu 
tornadoes themselves is really specialized. I really don't see much use for it. I really don't think this is going to be useful for mocks. These other four things look decent, but they feel really tacked on, and I don't have much to say about them. The ice side has a swastika and a shuriken. Both are cool visuals, but really, functionally, they're unreliable, especially if you're just one person and you don't have a friend to do it. On the flame side, the spinners are w even weaker. One having a central flame, the other is very basic. Not really much to say for these things. Uh, I guess they're pretty good. There is this central column that is very simple in construction, being the, you know, round pieces. It does have this really cool trans orange half boulder piece, as well as these exo arms in black. In the center, there is the forbidden scroll of Spinjitsu in the ice configuration, which isn't always nice to see. It's a kind of a shame you never really see this piece in the earth configuration, but it's basically the same spear that a sphere uses, but molded in dark gray and clearish blue at the tip, though it's not as obvious as the packaging will let it on to be. This set is a really a mixed bag for me. The box is very dishonest, I mean, come on. But one of the figures is alright. The other figure is horrible and reused, and partly why the set is so dishonest. The builds are very much meh. I mean, the two main are specialized for only for use with Spinjitsu, and then the others are just kind of these weird... Elemental summons? I mean, what, what, what are these things? And the column in the center, it's just basic. It would make a good shrine, though, and I can see it being edited. Overall, if, if you want it and you need a Blizzard Samurai, I guess get this set, but I wouldn't recommend it. That's it. I'm the Dark Master. And remember to subscribe for more LEGO reviews if you're interested.